Imagine, 85% of women in U.S. prisons report experiencing sexual assault. Yes, you heard it right, 85. It's a chilling figure that shakes the core of our understanding about the prison system. This isn't a plot from some dystopian novel or a sensational headline from a tabloid. It's a stark, cold reality that is lived every day by countless women behind bars. We're not talking about a few isolated incidents or a handful of prisons. This is a systemic issue that has permeated the entire prison system, from the smallest county jails to the largest state and federal institutions. It's a harsh reality that makes the concept of doing time a nightmare for these women who are supposed to be rehabilitated, not re-victimized. Every day, women in these prisons face a brutal test of survival and endurance, a test that goes far beyond the crime they may have committed or the sentence they're serving. It's a test of their very humanity, a test that far too many are failing. Not because they lack the will or the strength, but because the system designed to protect them is failing them. This is not just a women's issue, it's a human rights issue, it's a societal issue, it's a moral issue. It's about the basic dignity and respect that every human being, regardless of their mistakes or their past, deserves. It's about breaking the silence and the stigma around this issue and bringing it to light. It's about making a stand and saying, this is not okay, this needs to change. We need to start looking at these women, not just as prisoners, but as people. People who have made mistakes, yes, but people nonetheless. People who deserve the same basic rights and protections as anyone else. Now let's delve deeper into the lives of these women and the brutal tests they face every day. Take Maria, for example, a woman who served 15 years in a maximum security prison. Maria's story is a stark illustration of the harsh realities many women face behind bars. Let's delve into Maria's life. As a young woman, a series of unfortunate circumstances led her to a life of crime, and eventually she found herself in one of the most notorious maximum security prisons. Her sentence? 15 long years. The physical abuse started almost immediately. She was forced to endure grueling physical labor, often to the point of exhaustion. The cruel guards seemed to take pleasure in pushing her to her limits, watching as she struggled under the weight of her tasks, but Maria was strong, she had to be. Then came the psychological torment, the constant belittling, the isolation from the outside world, the relentless scrutiny. Every day was a battle against despair, yet Maria refused to let them break her spirit. She clung on to whatever shred of dignity she had left, using it as a shield against the relentless onslaught of humiliation. But perhaps the hardest test was the struggle to maintain her sanity. The prison was a world of its own, where time seemed to stand still. Days turned into weeks, weeks into months, months into years, and all the while, Maria was trapped in this life-sapping cycle of monotony and cruelty. The mental strain was immense. But Maria fought. She fought to keep her mind sharp, to keep her spirit unbroken. However, Maria's story is not just about the trials she faced, it's also about her resilience, her strength, her iron will. Despite the odds stacked against her, Maria survived. She came out of the prison a changed woman, scarred but stronger, wiser. Maria's story is not unique, it's the grim reality for many women in brutal prisons. Her tale serves as a sobering reminder of the injustices that take place within these walls, a reminder that we must never stop fighting for change. Beyond the physical harm, the mental tests these women face are equally harrowing. Let's delve into the psychological trials that women in brutal prisons confront every day. The first of these is isolation. Imagine being cut off from the world outside, from your family, from your friends. The constant loneliness gnaws at the psyche, turning hours into days, days into weeks. This isolation is not just physical, but emotional as well. Next we have manipulation. In these unforgiving environments, manipulation is often used as a tool to control and subjugate. Women are pitted against each other, fostering distrust and animosity. This manipulation can be subtle, a whispered rumor, or overt, a blatant lie. The end goal is the same, to sow discord and maintain control. It's a game of psychological warfare, where the battlefield is the human mind. Finally, there's the constant fear of violence. This isn't just about physical violence, but also verbal and psychological abuse. The threat is omnipresent, looming over like a dark cloud. It's an exhausting mental test, being in a state of perpetual alertness, always bracing for the next blow. The fear is not just for oneself, but also for others. Let's take the case of Jane Doe. 
Jane was a woman who found herself in one of these brutal prisons. She experienced all these mental tests firsthand. The isolation left her feeling desolate, the manipulation created a toxic environment of mistrust, and the constant fear of violence kept her on edge. Jane's story is a stark reminder of the psychological torment these women endure. The mental tests are relentless with no room for respite. These women are caught in a vicious cycle, their minds under constant siege. It's a testament to their resilience and strength that they survive these relentless mental tests. But it's also a call to action for us, a reminder that we must not turn a blind eye to their plight. Despite these brutal conditions, many women find the strength to fight back. This scene shines a light on the resilience of women weathering the storm in some of the world's most brutal prisons. They are not just surviving the harsh realities, they are fighting back, standing tall, and seeking justice in a system that often seems designed to break them. Let's take a moment to delve into another real-life case that paints a vivid picture of this resilience. Imagine a woman named Emily, a former lawyer, wrongfully accused and sentenced to a decade behind bars. Emily's knowledge of the law and her unyielding spirit became her most potent weapons. She helped her fellow inmates to understand their rights, filed grievances against inhumane treatment, and fought legal battles from within the prison walls. Emily's story is just one among countless others. These women, often forgotten by the outside world, wage daily battles for justice. They challenge inhumane treatment, fight for access to basic services and strive to maintain their dignity in an environment that seems intent on stripping it away. However, their fight for justice isn't confined within the prison walls. Many of these women continue their battles long after they've served their time. They become advocates for prison reform, using their first-hand experiences to shine a light on the dire conditions and push for change. They raise their voices not just for themselves but for the countless other women who remain silenced. Their fight is a testament to their strength and resilience. They refuse to be crushed by the weight of their circumstances. Instead they rise, they resist, and they reclaim their power. Their stories serve as a stark reminder of the human spirit's ability to endure, even in the face of overwhelming odds. These women are warriors battling not just for their survival but for their right to be treated with dignity and respect. Their journey is a testament to the power of the human spirit, the strength of women, and the fight for justice. Their fight is far from over but their resilience remains unbroken. So, what have we learned from these stories? We've journeyed through the harsh realities of women's prisons, from the shocking statistics to the heartbreaking narratives of those who've lived it. We've seen the systemic issues that persist, the dehumanizing conditions, and the mental strain these environments impose on the women who, though incarcerated, remain human beings with rights and dignity. We've heard Maria's story, a tale that echoes in the dark hallways of countless correctional facilities worldwide. We've seen her struggle, her resilience, and her relentless pursuit of justice and reform. Maria, like many others, serves as a poignant reminder of the dire need for change in these institutions. We've delved into the mental tests these women face daily, the mental fortitude it takes to survive in an environment that seems designed to break you. We've seen how these tests, more often than not, are not merely physical, but psychological, emotional, and spiritual as well. We've witnessed the fight for justice, the tireless efforts of advocates battling against a system that seems impervious to change, We've seen the sparks of hope ignited by these warriors, the small victories that show us that reform, though difficult, is not impossible. But this journey does not end here. The stories we've heard and the truths we've uncovered are calls to action. We've seen the stark reality and now it's our turn to respond. It's our turn to raise our voices, to stand in solidarity, and to demand better conditions for women in prisons. The tests these women face are brutal, but their spirits remain unbroken. They are a testament to the strength of the human spirit, to the resilience that can endure even the most trying circumstances. But they should not have to endure these trials alone. They should not have to fight these battles single-handedly. It's time for us to step in to lend our voices to their cause. It's time for us to take a stand and demand better conditions for women in prisons.